Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride. Going for goal! Oh, the ball's come loose! And it's Dembele. Over to the left, back into the middle. behind for a corner kick and that's been leave it clear has a pop he's beaten the keeper but hit the post Good clearance and very necessary Tries a shot! Oh, denied brilliantly! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And it's played forward. Gets into a dangerous position. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. side yet able to find the net Yoshida Yoshida goes looking forward it goes Just little by way of goal mouth action yet. Now it's Osako. Gets the better of his man. Chance to cross here. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Barcelona are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with those. Deadlock. And they reached half time. So there you have it, a close thought half of football, but that has still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. And it will be some game up today. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Barcelona head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. So off we go once more. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Shibasaki. Shapes to shoot! Oh, taken with! 
two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now, that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Japan are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Barcelona take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Just about up to the hour now. It's a loose ball. Osako plays it out to the flank. To throw in. Aimed in towards the centre. It's corner. Wasted clear. And it's Sakai. Shoots! Dembele, who has made his impact already. Ricky Pooch. Needed a better pass there. Tries to get it forward quickly. All the way back, and they start again. Hoists it forward. Osako. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Well played, he saw that coming. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. And they've been caught out here. Turns and goes but hits one! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. just wasn't much of a gap to begin with and to find it I think it was a fine drive and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that and he's a bit unlucky in that instance Barcelona take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Nagatomo. Tries to get it forward quickly. Time added on will be two minutes. And time is up. Barcelona, comfortable winners, a virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. Your final thoughts, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That is the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time.